Gatlin this year, the Monaco 100 meter champion. You're in 991. Justin, how do you feel about your race today? I feel good. I know I can run faster. Um, I think we just got caught up in the excitement of running here in, in front of this great crowd, running in front of royalty. Um, but it was a great race all the way down to the finish line. Uh, speaking of royalty, did you get a chance to meet the Prince? I've known the Prince since 2005, so we kind of go back. We're like, we don't do like regular handshakes. We do like, hey, man, you know. So <laughs> it feels good to be able to run in front of them always. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> uh, so yeah, you mentioned you got a little caught up in the energy of the crowd. Um, what, what would you go back and change in your race? Um, I think I was a little sticky at the blocks, um, but I've been working on my middle part of my race and knowing it's, you know, the sensational top end speed that Noah Lyles has after coming off running at 1950 last week. I know I had to prepare and just stay relaxed going to the finish line and just fight for the line. And uh, this year, uh, you know, you've had a great season, you've, you've competed sparingly. Is, is that uh, kind of intentional with Worlds being later? A little bit of both. Um, you know, I had an injury in the beginning of the season, so I, I wasn't able to do speed work. All I had to do was rehab. And now I came back, I've done a little speed work, now I can go home finally and just get some more work in and get ready for trials. Even though I have the buy, I want to run nationals as if I don't have a spot and compete and use that as a sounding board for the Worlds. Yeah, with that in mind, how, how, uh, what are you thinking about that? Like, what are you going to use nationals to do? Are you going to try to work on a specific part of your race? Well, you know, yeah, I definitely want to work on going through rounds. I haven't ran three rounds in, I don't know, since 2017. <laughs> so um, I'm going to use that. And also for the fans. I mean, I love, I don't get a chance to run in America that often. So I know the fans are going to be there. They're going to wish us well and want to see a great show. And, uh, you know, with the world yeah. in mind, uh, there's a lot of competition, as always. Um, but what are your goals there? Uh, my goal is just to be consistent, run through the rounds, and just let it all be there at the end of the finals and run for the line and compete as hard as I can. So you obviously you get asked a lot about just like your, your career longevity. What do you usually <laughs> say to those people? Um, I don't think about the age of it. I just think about what my body can do. You know, I still can get out the blocks with the young guys at practice, still, you know, run the same times at practice in the segments at practice with them. So I know I can be able to put down a solid time in competition. I always rise to the occasion. I think the secret for me is surrounding myself by young athletes. But also, I wake up, I go to practice, and if I'm sore, I ask them, are they sore? And if they say they're sore, then I know it's the hard work and not the old age. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Um, so also, like, how would you describe like your career tra trajectory? Is this like how you imagined uh, it would be at the start? Like, did you imagine to be competing into you know this age? Not really. You know, um, I'm just taking each year at a time and see where it puts me at. And, and I'll, each year I try to have a goal in mind, what I want to do. And if it's obtainable, then I try to go for it. Um, and, I, and I try not to water down the importance of each race because it kind of helps break up the monotony of just traveling, running, traveling, and, and kind of like takes away the passion of running here in Monaco, running in Lausanne. I want to be able to put a, a good effort out each race I go for, out of respect for the fans and competition. And you've been running fast. I mean... Those, those times are no joke, obviously. Um, how fast do you think you can run this season? Um, I want to run 9.7, get back to 9.7 shape, so I have three months to get there. So I think with the right you know, conditioning, right speed work, and obviously at the right places, I think it'll happen. All right, I guess that's our cue. That's all. We're out of here. Lights <laughs> Thank off. Thank you so much, Justin. Thank you. <laughs>